this should be interesting. French environmentalists targeted uh, sites near Toulouse. Uh, Toulouse. Also, the discount Italian saw back at it again, I see. Sacre bleu. Calling golf the leisure industry of the most privileged, climate activists fill golf holes with... That's actually true. Cement after water ban exemption. Bias take, this is better than impending traffic. You're right, it is. Like, this is absolutely way better True. than impeding traffic. You are completely right. You have- Anyone remember that clip when a woman needed to go to the hospital? Otherwise, you know, she would probably die. And then she did. Because, and Don't Stop Oil was doing, well, what they do best. Sit on, uh, sit on the road and glue themselves to the road. Some people, by the way, have lost hands by using uh, epoxy. Which is actually the most hilarious thing ever. I wish more people suffered like that, okay? If you sit in traffic, I love it when someone just, you know... You know the guy who just was like, okay, that's a climate activist? The old dude? He was in Hawaii uh, uh, on vacation. And he just pulls out a force multiplier and is like... Bruh. My hero, literal hero, everyone who's a climate activist, you know, should just say. Have people doing this, and eventually, if this becomes popular, the golf courses will find a way to defend themselves against this problem. And I can guarantee you that eventually, one form of that defense will result in some form of harm coming to these environmentalists. Hopefully. Mines, bear traps, pit bulls. Uh, you know, like a sniper tower. I don't One know, can only but dream. they'll figure something out, right? And this goes back to what I said whenever we talked about it the first time. You are not Batman. And if you think that you are Batman, don't be surprised whenever somebody else turns into Bane or somebody turns into the Joker or the Penguin, because that's what happens. You can't go around and break the law and destroy people's property and fuck it up just because you personally disagree with what they're doing. If that was the case, the entire world would be chaos. You can't have this happen. It's just crazy. Then I realized the pen placement. Well, this is a good take, but it, it feels a little bit ironic after uh, the Coddle Jobs vi uh, video with Mudahar after the guy who hasn't donated money to charity and everyone getting up in arms about that. Nothing illegal has been done. But people are getting up in arms in it because, you know what? Vigilante justice. Okay? that it's It feels a little bit hypocritical right after that day, you know? No, this will take him probably like 20 minutes to fix. It's not even a big deal. You just dig the concrete up, refill the hole, it's done in like 20 minutes. Fuck their golf courses? Well, what happens whenever the people that you're saying fuck their golf courses decide to say fuck you or whatever your thing is? Like, what happens whenever that happens? Fun. They won't, they will. Why wouldn't they? Because whenever you do something that is against the law to as a form of protest and you are destroying another person's property, you cannot expect that person to sit there and take it. This is an outrageous sense of entitlement that I can't even believe I have to explain. You cannot expect a person to sit there and let you destroy their property and do these things with no repercussions. And whenever those repercussions come, don't cry to me. There is no way that you can do this and have it have anything other than a bad ending. I'll read a few comments about this. Everyone followed the law all the time. Women wouldn't have the ability to vote. Black people would still be slaves. Not all laws are ethical. Well, you have to remember that women didn't like, yes, obviously there were protests that happened, but with a lot of things, like these were laws that were changed. Laws were changed in order to make people not slaves. This is an amendment in the Constitution. Like, the reason why women can vote is because there is a law saying that they can vote. You can change things, but whenever you destroy other people's pro- Is that even correct? In America? Is there an amendment in the Constitution that says that women can vote? 
I, I do, is that property and you destroy other people's stuff in order to get that change you are no longer the person who is in the right there are a lot of people out there who might makes right shut up if there's enough people doing this guess what that's the new right the, the law doesn't matter, okay? There is no single country in this world where the law matters. You know? And there never will exist probably a single country in the, in the history of human civilization where laws matter, okay? The moment there's enough people that don't agree with something, that's no longer law. The moment there's too many people to arrest for something, for example, stuff like this, they're not going to get arrested. Because what are you going to do? Start arresting sw uh, SWAT percentiles of your population? No. No, that's how you destroy yourself. Well, I, this is what I think. I think that there are... I think that we live in an incredibly safe society. I think that we live in the greatest time in human history by far. And it's getting better every single day. And the only reason why people say it's not is because they willfully engage and indulge in things that are bad for them. Okay, I would agree until the point that it's the that we probably do in a really good time in society, depending on your views, obviously. But still, you probably mo most people agree with that, you know, who weren't born in you know poor places. But what 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 does this does indulgence have to do with anything? I I don't understand. If, if you indulge, I don't know, in drugs or whatever, you're still probably happy. Because you live in a time where you can do that. Like, we, it, like, life is so good now. And I think that people are looking for a struggle. People are looking for a cross to nail themselves up to. And it's harder to find them nowadays. Back in the day, it was easy to fight against oppression because there is some foreign government that's controlling your country that's controlled by a warlord. Or there's some massive social issue that you have to deal with, like slavery, for example, or like women voting and other stuff like that, civil rights. Nowadays, these problems exist, but they're so much less than what they used to be. There are no Um, the war against slavery started to happen because of very minor um, mi minority group of people, but everything he's mentioning is actually a minority uh, action a minority of people take action and the majority thing happens like this is this is this is painfully incorrect i don't even know where to start honestly i'm not american but even i know american history better than that wow no longer these massive insurmountable human like massive differences and huge power imbalances that existed in uh like yeah he's talking like people actually fought about these things no they didn't uh, all, all every single thing he uh, every single thing he named was started by a small group of people who had power and then it spun into this uh massive thing with giant consequences so eh? you know back in the day there's still huge wealth inequality what is what is has, what does somebody else's money have to do with you? I'm not comparing your money uh everything versus somebody else's money. I'm comparing how much money a person is making versus like uh what they had before. It doesn't have anything to do with you. What I'm Oh, uh, in that case we arguably had uh more before these past couple of years. So by that definition we actually don't live in the best time ever. Because, you know, uh, arguably four years was way better back in the day. Because the prices were better versus uh, how, how, how much money people were actually getting if you don't want to look at other people's money. And we can't ignore other people's money in this conversation, right? Uh, BlackRock is ignoring your money because your money doesn't matter. They're buying houses, they're buying land, they're buying everything. You will own nothing and be happy. Beautiful, ain't it? And that's what you get when you ignore everyone else's money. Inequality is an absolute all-time peak currently. Which is absolutely phenomenal, obviously, and whatnot.
I'm saying is that the general quality of life has gone up tremendously. It has gone up in a massive way. And that you are naive. I mean, depends? How... People are no longer able to buy houses, afford the rent. Like, buying a house is impossible for most people nowadays. Renting is almost impossible for a lot of people at this point. So, you know, y your definition cannot be anything but, uh, but very, very lax and small in this case, if you want that to be even remotely true. Gone up tremendously. It has gone up in a massive way. And that you are... Yeah, again, I, I don't think people agree with that. I, I don't know what he sees as quality of life when you have no life any longer. When you... How is your quality of life of uh, going up when you can't afford food or basic things? I'm not even sure. You are naive to believe otherwise. You are insane to believe otherwise. They hate people with wealth so much. Absolutely. Because people are so focused on what other people have that they're not even able to realize the fact that... Spoken like a true millionaire, by the way. Oh, wealth doesn't matter. What other people don't matter. Oh yeah, this doesn't matter. Bruh, he doesn't even know how much money he has because he's that wealthy. Okay? Uh, th this is just an opinion of the wealthy and out of touch, okay? You know, uh, is he get, at this rate, as we go, is going to mention that he survives only by spending 2k monies in the real world per month, which is a blatant lie, by the way, obviously. But, you know, I hope at least he mentions that what they have. Oh, no. Or did it go to 2.5k now? I mean, inflation, he accounts for that. So, you know, now he survives with 2.5k only a month. While being a multi-millionaire, obviously. Of now, and what you have access to now, is more than any other time in the entire history of the world. You're comparing yourself to other people. I'm comparing you to what you would have been 50 years ago. Or what you would have been 100 years ago. More rich? Or 200 years ago. Can well, it actually does make sense that his, uh, that his look is at accessibility. Because when you don't care about money, accessibility is the only actual real issue. So yeah, spoken like an absolute millionaire, true. Because the only thing that millionaires have a problem with is finding on what uh, they spend money. So accessibility is their uh, is their by far biggest uh, biggest enemy. Okay, for a normal person, accessibility doesn't matter shit. Because you don't have that much money to spend on things, okay? If you have, let's say, I don't know, random number, 1k to spend on leisure activities uh, a month, you're not gonna run out of those leisure activities, be it now or be it 30 years ago. But a millionaire, or a multi-millionaire, well, he's gonna run out of those leisure activities to spend his money on. So accessibility becomes a serious issue. In fact, the only issue. That's why there are industries that, well, just ju just serve millionaires and people like that with random stuff that you had even no clue you can buy. Can it get better? Yes, it can get better. But the truth is that it is better now than it has ever been. And I think that people are constantly looking for a cross to nail themselves up to because they feel like their life has no purpose and no meaning. So they... Yes. Obviously, that's most people in general. Yes, people need meaning. People need goals. Go and they glue their hands to precious art. They fill. And guess who actually glues their hands to precious art? Like, this stop oil thing is literally just rich kids, by the way. All of them uh, come from uh, a way, way above average families, okay? They, they come from wealth. They have not seen any diversity in their life at all. Wait, is diversity even the real word here? Anyway, you get uh, you get the point. They have not encountered any problems in their life at all. They have never had, well, a a any issues with money or anything that that involves, which means their life's pretty easy. Because let me tell you a secret. The moment you start getting a decent sum of money in your life, a lot of problems just magically vanish. 
money's pretty goddamn awesome at doing that. And guess what? You have more time to, well, do different things. And if you grew up like that, well, well, you're pretty bored, aren't you? There's not a lot that you can fight for because there's not a lot that you are interested in. Fill up golf holes with cement and they stand in the road because there's no gigantic, evil, oppressive regime like Hitler out there for them to go fight against to make them feel like their life has any value. That's what I fucking think. And I'm talking about people in the U.S. If you're in Palestine, I think that it makes a lot of sense that you feel that way. Yeah, absolutely. And you still do have an immediate big problem. However, I'm talking about people in first world countries. Bro, look at life ex expectancy of U.S. citizens in the last two decades. The life expectancy of U.S. citizens has gone down. Uh, that's what you're going to show me and you're going to say. Why has it gone down? Uh... Not that you would probably know. I'll tell you why it's gone down. It's because people are fat and they're eating food that kills them. That yes. Because that, 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 yeah, yes, because that's the modern day. Yeah. That's why all of the resources are available and readily accessible. If you go down and you ask 50 fat people, what are healthy foods and what are unhealthy foods they're going to tell you pretty much the same thing yeah you might have a few dipshits out there but for the most part they're all going to say burgers are bad and salads are good yeah i don't think americans are actually going to say that not gonna lie doesn't seem like that would be the case does that stop them from eating burgers no so how is this a problem with society whenever a person is willfully engaging in something that hurts them? Are you asking service level questions for something that goes far deeper? The problem with society, arguably in that case, is the fact that society allows this. Society allows its self, uh, own self-destruction. No, you're trying to make something go far deeper that's actually very surface level. A person is engaging and indulging in something that's bad for them, and then they blame the world for why they're doing it. That's the fundamental reason why it's happened. I don't think those people are blamed. This is a different conversation entirely from the don't stop oil or the activists and the golf courses and whatnot. Yeah, th this is a completely segregated conversation. It's nobody else's fault. It has absolutely nothing to do with the initial conversation. Fault. It's not society. It's not anything else. No, society isn't making you eat McDonald's. Society isn't making you... Uh, you know, do these things that are massively unhealthy. You're doing these to yourself. Your shelter streamer, shut the fuck up. All right, let's get let's let's pull him up. Oh boy, let's pull him up. Okay, explain it's... what I'm explain what I said that was wrong. A lot of he people didn't say anything that it was wrong. By the way, shut the fuck up, millionaire streamer. <laughs> he didn't even say that that it was wrong get upset that I'm saying this because they're they feel like they're being talked down to because I'm in a successful place in my life right now here's the here's the thing that you don't want to accept you how is he actually wrong about you being a sheltered streamer though you can be right about everything that you think about me and everything that you say about me I'm a sheltered streamer I've never lived a day in your life I have no idea what I'm talking about you know, this is just a millionaire POV, and yep. you can say all of those things. You can say I'm delusional. I should play video games. And so what was going to be the take? But at the end of the day, you're still right about this. You can be right about every single one of those things. But that doesn't make you wrong. And it still doesn't make me wrong. Yep, as expected. And I'm still right. And I mean, I everything you said was kind of stupid and lacked sustenance so i don't know that's why you're mad again people are attacking my perspective because they can't attack my argument they're attacking me as a person it's completely fine like this is what ha this is what dumb people wait what is exactly the perspective we flipped flop from people p people fighting against slavery because they need a just cause then we flipped flop to what else did we actually flip flop to? Then then we then then we flip there. How 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 do you even keep track? By the way, and, and if you're an Asmodee Gold fan, I'll 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 say this again. 
he he just says a thing where you fill in the gaps, but the gaps you fill in need to be filled in by him for an argument to make sense, okay? If uh, if someone of you is thinking, oh, what I'm saying is terribly wrong, because Asmugal actually means this, get a ten people who agree, uh, agree with you that Asmugal actually says something else, and then actually write down what you think he says in that situation. You will find that all ten of you are probably thinking that he means different things, because he never says anything concrete. He just, he just, he just says bad thing bad, good thing good. You know? Th this is why this is so confusing, because his explanations at the start are like, just, what, why, where? People do. You can't expect, you're not going to reason a dumb person into being smart. It's just not going to happen. You think making fast food cheaply, uh, cheaper than healthy food is relevant whenever it comes to individuals choosing what they eat on a daily? It's not cheaper. Fast food isn't cheaper than healthy food. That's not even true. What That's are you talking about? Is. Like, it's just like, it's like these, these things, like these people, like you don't, have you ever been to a store? Holy shit, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. I went to, I, bro. I went to fucking, all right, think about this. You buy a bag of rice. How many meals do you get out of a bag of rice? Probably a lot, right? Yeah. I would assume a lot. Yeah, a lot of meals. Oh my God. Oh yeah, this. Okay. This, uh, this is the, this is the argument. Well, if th this is, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to change this argument. So you understand how actually little sense does it make, right? Uh, this is the argument, essentially. Well, if you just don't move, lay in the bed all day, and conserve energy, you're gonna save money on food. And if money is so important, that's what you should do, because, you know, uh, saving money is the most important thing. Uh, this is not about saving money. These arguments are not always about saving money. They're, they're a mix of saving money versus actually, you know, enjoying your life a little bit, or 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 not living staring in a vault every day. The, the, this is what the, these arguments are a mix of. Not oh yeah, the easiest way to live if you if you need to save money is just by only eating rice and drinking water. Yeah, it is. But no human wants to live like that. Eels. And how much is a bag of rice? It's probably like what five, uh, like like five dollars, something like that. Yes, about five dollars. If you actually look at the amount of ingredients that go into making this kind of food, and if you make your own food that's healthy, it will be cheaper than buying fast food. The truth is, people want to put zero effort into. It. Listen, every single person that I know that says this kind of stuff, and I actually have a window into their life and I understand like kind of where they're coming from, these people are just indulgent. They're indulgent and they're lazy. That's all it comes down to. This person, this person just never- Well, you see, what does it mean to be indulgent and lazy in this situation? Because from the previous context that he, uh, that he gave us, I indulgence means anything but eating rice. Because you don't need more to survive. That's, that's not the perspective any human wants to live by. Maybe some kind of monk in a temple at the, you know, end of a mountain or something like that. But no normal person is, is going to say that, okay? It's just not applicable. And what was that? Indulgent and what else? And I understand, like, kind of where they're coming from. These people are just indulgent. They're indulgent and they're lazy. Yeah, also, what, what does lazy exactly mean? How, what, what is what is lazy in his opinion? Do they not work? Do they work but don't try to better themselves? What is lazy in this situation? Again, Asmongol just says nothing. Lazy and indulgent? Probably a lot of people agree with what he says right there. But the reality is he says nothing. Because if you need to explain what lazy and indulgent is, again, take 10, uh, take 10 people who agree with Asmongol, and congratulations, all these 10 people have a different explanation what he means with lazy and indulgent. He says nothing. That's all it comes down to. This person, this person just never really responded. I'm just gonna ban them. There uh, we go. I, admittedly, this is, I get it. I, I hate this so much. Like, how, 
you're trying to debate someone with writing while you're talking. This is this is never gonna work. I mean, I think even the stupidest person in the world could probably win most arguments while he is allowed to talk, and the other person needs to write. This person, especially in situations like this, where there's no real combined sense of what he's trying to uh, to say. Just never really responded. I'm just gonna ban him. Uh, it took forever. For one meal, maybe it's not cheaper, but you get more for your money buying healthy ingredients with a fast food meal. Exactly. Fast food has always been expensive. Just these entitled children didn't realize how much of their parents' money they were taking going to these places. Yeah, I went to Dairy Queen yesterday, and it was like, I mean, I'm not even kidding. It was a huge amount of money. They're indulging because they don't have coping mechanisms. Fast food is addicting because of the feel-good hormones that it makes the brain release. Okay, so they're addicted to fast food and it's because of their brain and they just can't do anything. Okay, well then hopefully, uh, you know, just keep eating fast food, weed yourself out of the gene pool, and then hopefully somebody else will replace you that's not that stupid. Because that's what's going to happen. You eat fast food constantly, you're going to get fat, you're going to die early, and then you're going to be gone. That's what happens. You go to a nursing home full of a bunch of 90-year-old people. That's stupid. If you weed yourself out of the gene pool, that doesn't mean that you have not passed on your genes. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't automatically mean if you're dead. We're, we're jumping to extremes now, okay? If you eat fast food for all your life, that doesn't mean that you have not passed on the gene pool, okay? People, none of them are fat. Do you know why? Because the fat ones are dead. So you can blame everything else on the world or whatever. But nursing homes plenty of people that are skin. Wait, what nursing homes? Did I, did we... That's what happens. You go to a nursing home full of a bunch of 90 year old people. None of them are fat. Do you know why? Because the fat ones are dead. So you can blame. I don't know about that, chief. I don't know about that. My grandma survived to 95 or 96. She was fat. My other grand uh, granddad survived to 80 something. He was overweight. I, I don't know about that, Chief. Uh, t two, two, two houses that way, th there's this woman who's roughly this big, and I think she's approaching a hundred. Now, I understand that his... Now, I, I understand the counter-argument to this as well. Typically, on average, fat people don't survive. But, okay, what... Why are you trying to de defend de defend my counter uh, counter argument to his absolute out of whack out of reality ultimatum over the normalization? Okay, you 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 should be because he's wrong. Old people houses are not full of 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 skinny fit dudes and skinny fit women who did yoga. Well, first of all, because there's there's. Not the generation that has done yoga from a young age. <laughs> but second of all, because that's just not simply true, okay? And if you're going to uh, say here, oh, he's right and you're wrong. Dude, he presented a completely out of this world scenario for how life functions. And then I uh, presented counter arguments that are also kind of extremes, but they are still true and disprove him. And now you're going to go for the normalization tactic. Oh, actually, it's in the middle. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just pointing out how stupid his argument is. Everything else on the world or whatever, but there's plenty of people that are skinny. Anyway, the point is that you cannot break the law and destroy other people's private property in order to get your point across. This will never turn out well. I mean, you can. And whenever the people in the golf courses start defending themselves. I mean, we have seen how this turns out, by the way. Slavery is a great example, by the way, in America. Again, not American, but even I know the fact that uh, by law, technically, uh, the ones who started uh, the war against slavery were actually in the l l uh, legal wrong. Because they did not comply with the law that they agreed with. So, you know, s s saying they won't achieve anything? Nah, they just need a mass and they will achieve everything that they want. Don't cry to me. They can and they did. Well, what happens, for example? Nothing. My guess is that in the US, nothing happened to these people. They were not put in jail. They were not probably even arrested.
Like, let's say somebody does this and they get hurt on the golf course. You know, the person- You sue the golf uh, course. You know, or, or somebody puts a dog, six a dog on them. You sue like, them. Like, should you not be able to defend your property? Of course not. It's America. Of course not. It's America. <laughs> Try to defend yourself. See what happens. Well, depending on depending on your state, nothing. But again, your 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 ability to do anything just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. One side completely doesn't give a shit about the law. America, you're so done. Oh, I think you should. So my perspective is this. If people are coming on to a person's property and destroying it intentionally, I think the people that own that property... Whatever his perspective is going to be, and it's probably going to be, uh, they should be able to defend their property, is fucking stupid, because previously he did an appeal to law as in, well, this is illegal and you shouldn't be able to do it, blah, blah, blah. And, and now it's like, okay, forget the law. We should be able just to defend ourselves or whatever. So, you know, wh why, why make an appeal to authority and law and whatnot if, if later you're going to just make an appeal like that? that? Well, you should be able to defend your stuff. Should have every ability to defend themselves with whatever means they determine necessary. And if you think they're not going to do that, you are naive. It's very easy for people like this to say that whenever... It's not their property being destroyed. Yeah. It's very easy for you point. to say, oh, well, fuck people in golf courses. I don't like golf courses and it's just rich people, so it doesn't matter. Well, what if somebody just decides you're the problem? What if somebody decides that like where you live used to be tough? What can I say? But it is what it is. Uh, you know, like an Indian uh, or Native American like a uh, settlement or something like that. And they decide to burn down your house because there shouldn't be people living there. Everybody has the, yeah, people are always it trying to justify bad behavior, but whenever it happens to them, <laughs> I guarantee you they're gonna be wanting justice for it. If things were different, they would be different. Yes, I agree. If things were different, things would be different. What a take. And it's easy for them to say that it's okay for it to happen to these people, because they feel like these people are part of the other group. And like also people of like, you know, with like having their, their car uh, destroyed or something like that. A lot of people had their cars destroyed during like BLM protests. I saw like hundreds of cars destroyed. Yep. And these are just private citizens. It sounds like their mentality is rules for thee and not for me. That's what the rules always are. That is always what the rules are, gentlemen. It is people that are, um, have you heard of the Boston Tea Party? Say no. This is probably the stupidest argument that I hear about this. And I'm going to explain why it's stupid. Because the Boston Tea Party was a reaction to a monarchy. They didn't have a representative government. Actually, no, it was a, just a reaction to like a, how, what, how much was it to a tax increase? And that tax increase wasn't even big. That tax increase would be like, if in modern day America, they would say, okay, but increasing your tax, what was it? It was super small. It was like two, three, five percent, maybe something like that. Not maybe even less. I don't remember. Someone, someone's going to, uh, someone's going to mention it. Nowadays, if you would say, <laughs> no, no, that, that whole thing started literally because people just felt fucking robbed by the fact that the tax increase of like 2% was too much. That's why it started. It has nothing to do with righteousness. A monarchy. It has nothing to do with fight a monarchy. What? What? What are these fantasies? What, what, what are these absolute just out of the blue fantasies? Again, this, this, the whole Boston Tea Party shit started just because there was, there was a 2% tax increase and they, they decided that that's too much because they're being taken advantage of. It had nothing to do with a monarchy. And if it had anything to do with a, mo with a monarchy, why didn't they attack Britain? If they wanted to get rid of a monarchy, why didn't they attack Britain? Like, that's such a, what, does he, does he, Asperger even know USA history? 
they didn't have a representative government that they elected to choose to make changes. So whenever they don't need to have a representative uh, the, the government elected to make changes. They are a fucking colony. They have that. You 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 went there, you you went there willingly and became a colony. What what do you mean? Whenever you say that the Boston Tea Party was necessary, I agree with you. Because they were revolting against a monarchy. We have, at least in the U.S., a representative democracy. That means that you can vote, and if enough people vote for something, it can happen. Representative democracy? Isn't the U.S. a republic? Or something? I don't even remember. It doesn't really matter. I, again, it doesn't really matter what the USA is, because even if someone makes the argument, well, actually, it's a, it's a heretical blah, 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 which is completely incorrect, by the way, uh, you know, that part doesn't matter because, you know, it's as close to a democracy as, uh, as possible, but the US is a republic if I, actually, let me, let's check what was the US. The USA is a republic? Question mark? The United States is a federal constitutional republic. There we go. A constitutional republic. So, yeah, Asmongol doesn't even know what the US is. That's how Trump became president. So it was actual tyranny. You don't get to just simply... Wait, now we're talking about Trump being president? We have, at least in the U.S., a representative democracy. That means that you can vote, and if enough people vote for something, it can happen. That's how Trump became president. So it was actual tyranny. You don't get to just simply... Is he accidentally making a good point here or not? We ignore the rules. You don't get to just ignore, oh, well, you know what? I'm aggrieved enough, so I think I have the moral authority to go beyond the law and destroy other people's private property because I have the moral justification for it. Imagine what would happen if everybody thought like that. Do you understand what the difference is? Good points. Yes, okay. I have no problem with people protesting, but whenever you destroy another person's property in order to protest, you stop because you are you you stop being a protester and you are now a criminal. Just because you want to protest something. That's not actually how that works, by the way. For you become a criminal if someone needs to charge you with something, okay? You can't become a criminal because you break the law. The law actually needs to be applied for you to become a criminal. You can... You can murder a hundred billion people, but as long as you're not caught, you're not a murderer. That's how it works, okay? So these people are not criminals. He's actually defaming them. Sue them. Sue Asmongold golf course people unless they get charged they're not criminals they're alleged criminals at this point does not give you the moral authority to destroy other people's property this is not how it works and i guarantee you that all the people that say oh it's necessary would not feel that way if it was their car their house or their yard that's what insurance is for the way that insurance companies get money is oh each insurance boy. company has a ferry and the ferry for the insurance company magically creates more money and that's how they pay off. oh oh i was i i was i was thinking wait what the fuck is a ferry oh he's just okay save off all of the insurance claims so that's a good point we're not a facility built on that dude you're arguing your point of view it doesn't exist in reality outside of percentage people you do not have the right to violently attack and retribution, and you don't have the right to destroy property, but sending a message without harming a person in any way is legitimate still to this day. Okay, let me explain something to you, because this is oh probably boy. something that's very hard for people like this to understand, because they have main character syndrome, and they think that property doesn't matter. Whenever you destroy a person's property, you hurt them. If somebody- We are not a society built on that yet, dude. You are arguing, arguing a view that does not exist in reality outside of, of a percentage of people. You do not have right, uh, a right to violently attack in the retribution. You don't have the right to destroy property. Uh, no one's talking about a, a violent attack in the retribution. 
Oh, wait! That's a good point! I, that's a good point, because maybe Asmongold is actually serious about the dogs and whatnot. Because, obviously, by his, uh, by, by his standards, you do... Yeah, because, wait, yeah, this is true, this is unironic, because by his... Be, because by his views, if someone goes up to his car, hits it, he has the 100% authority to just, you know, put a shotgun to someone's face and just, you know, pull pull the force multiplier button a couple of times, you know? Yeah, that's un Yeah, true. Actually, that's true. That Because that is his view. That is unironically his view. If, so, if, if, so, if someone spits at his fence post, you, you, you sh you, he should have the right to remove you. That is his view. Huh, interesting. Burns down your car. That car is also a representation of your assets and your resources. And whenever you lose that car, and you're not able to have that car, now you need another car. So property does, like property- Wait, wait, but yeah, this argument is still kind of like fucking all over the place in there. Property is not- I admittedly even talking to Asmongold, I'm already lost, honestly. You know, I was lost 10 minutes ago. We're, we're just flip-flopping through so many things and there's so many inaccurate assessments based on... Dude, I, I shouldn't be too surprised from someone who doesn't know how guns work in America because, you know, it's it, he thinks it's illegal to own guns in America and shit like that. Not even joking about that, by the way. But yeah, wow, this is this is crazy. Like, just this thing that doesn't matter. A property is a representation of a person's work and life. They've put in some... Not necessarily, not true at all. Uh, if you're a kid of a rich dude, y you having a card that's multi worth multiple millions is in no way representation of your work or accomplishments. This is completely blatantly false. In some cases, years of their life into making this property what it is. And if you destroy that, you hurt them. So the idea that, oh, well, just because because I'm destroying property, nothing bad. If you can... If, okay, so this is the problem with an argument like this. It's kind of okay, but in the context, it doesn't work. Because all of this started... All of this is based on the climate activism and shit, right? Because the golf course thing is about climate activism yeah it's about stop oil and stuff like that this doesn't this argument doesn't work in this context this is actually a good argument in any other context but the reason this argument doesn't work in this context is pretty simple because if you are gonna say now that a person's car is meaningful because a person worked and put time and effort and blah 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 into getting it well, the same argument can be uh, uh, said about the people who are now campaigning to, to stop oil and things like that because they want to save the world themselves because they live on the world. It, it can be extended to that. And then who has more of a right, honestly, in a situation like that? Is it, is it the guy who owns a car? Or, or is there, or is there more validity to someone who is trying to save the world? It's kind of complicated, but, well, these these things get really stupid really fast, huh? It's kind of complicated and annoying, but yeah, this argument doesn't work when you're when you're attributing uh, things like that to cars. Because the world is gonna win. Because you can attribute the same uh, things to the world. Ad can happen to me. You're stealing their time. Yeah, this is their time they invested, and this is. Oh, actually, time's a great example. Yeah. Well, the the stealing the time that the card was uh, was ba made, built, and whatnot is nothing to comparison to how much uh, time of the world uh, the, uh, these other people are stealing by doing what they are doing in this case. Damn, I can't make. I can't. I can't find the words to make. Uh, to make this good enough so everyone understands. But you get the point. If you're gonna say that uh, that inanimate objects have value because someone works for them in this sense, then the protesters are way more right because th the world has more value, one hundred percent of the time, always 
than any inanimate object ever. Time out of their life. Property matters, but you are not physically hurting them. There are laws to cover these things. Well, it doesn't matter if it's against the law because your car is still burned down. Morally, you're arguing it's wrong in your view and many other things, but to say it's not an effective cause is wrong. Well, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, it is an effective cause if you would contribute these, uh, these basic things to cars. Is it an effective cause? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. Like, I would say that the amount of environmentalists that have destroyed, like, uh, fine art and stuff like that in order to, you know, make a point, I think that it's been incredibly unproductive. And I think that it's made them look really bad. And this is the point that I'm making. How much fine art has actually been destroyed? Because, you know, it's usually behind glass and stuff, so it never gets really destroyed. I haven't heard that actual any piece of real art has gotten destroyed at this point. Is that... The people that are doing this think that they're fighting against an oppressive regime because a golf course can have water. This is not an oppressive regime that is bad enough to warrant you going and destroying pro- Again, based on- okay, I'm gonna end this video, but again, last thing. Based on what he previously said about, uh, slavery, the, uh, the tea party and things, one side also didn't think that uh, one thing was bad and the other thing was oppressive and so on. There's always two sides to these conversations and one side doesn't think there's a problem. This is fundamentally how these things operate. So, so, so yeah. You thinking that there's no problem doesn't mean that other people don't think there's a problem. That's, that's the fundamental truth of the world. Anyway, I'm absolutely done. Oh god, this made absolutely no sense. Jesus Christ. I, I need to cut these things down into like five minute segments. I, otherwise it's just He he's just all over the place. He doesn't he doesn't say anything concrete. And he's just all over the place. I, I this is so hard to follow. Anyway, bye bye.